to the channel I'm a not and welcome to Volcano's hot sleepover party almost messed that up uh, I'm wearing this hoodie right here because yeah I, I just realized it looked cool on me because I look mysterious and I look like an assassin from Assassin's Creed uh, another game which I won't get to play because it's not nice it's not trendy so fuck you this game is about sleepovers and the story of this is a bunch of mountains are having a sleepover and you're just the only volcano inside that sleepover so okay I, I'm a geologist so I know this one right here has a reach back top right there so maybe that's a long ass uh, mountain range this one is what the fuck are you and then this one is just like an extinct volcano I think and this is the active one so among all of this this is the youngest I think shoot the cloud and collect pillows oh right okay collect pizzas from the lava bed below how do I collect pizzas okay what the what am I doing okay so this is weird okay there are pillows okay so hey you you there don't go far far away from me even the sky will tell me that I need you so for this is all I know I'll never go far away from what am I doing? I'm just exploding! I'm making pillows out of gas, uh, water vapor, and my ejecta. So basically, guys, uh, for you non shop people out there watching me, listening to me, when you cross lava with the clouds, lava is the one ejecting, magma is the one at the bottom, basic jolt. Anyways, yeah, when you cross that and that, you make glass. Yeah, basically, glass comes from um, extrusive materials, uh, rapidly cooling, so that means maybe uh, contact with water, because we well, the most fun at this sleepover party. This guy... Okay, what am I doing, really? What am I doing? Shoot, left click to fire arrows to move. Oh, I can move! Okay. Space bar to collect lava from underground. Okay. Yo, bro. Okay, so this is kinda accurate. Okay. Okay, that's lag. Oh, so I collect pillows too. Okay. So I need to have the most one at this one. So I need to get more pillows than them and also more, you know, like, pizzas. Okay, so this is really nice because I can really see the deformation happening below, which is really weird because mountains don't move, plates move. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a common misconception about that. Okay, so let's just get it out there. Plates move. Okay guys, plates really move. There is not a flat ship. Okay. So the plates move. And when they move, uh, hot spots beneath the earth, beneath the surface of the earth, just like this, where you have pools of over of magma. Magma is the molten rock material beneath the earth. And I had the most fun. Yay! Let's continue with the lesson. Okay, so my thoughts are really everywhere right now. I'm so... Hawaii has a hotspot volcano beneath it. And a hotspot, actually, just a hotspot beneath it which explodes, uh, which erupts. non siliceous magma which tends to just flow and lay flat on the ground. 
yeah, and Hawaii was formed that way. So through time, there's a bunch of like cancellaceous magma, very flowy magma. Very. I've been saying magma. I meant lava. Guys, I'm so sorry. Please don't bar me from the board, board exams. Um, okay. Hawaii was formed that way from the eruption, but from the continuous eruption of various volcanoes uh, in the island. And as you may know, there's a Hawaii, uh, there's an island chain near Hawaii, which actually includes Hawaii too. It's the Emperor Sigmund chain. And that was formed from the movement of the Pacific Plate uh, as time passes by. So, yeah. The magma, the, lo the lovers. Okay, so I'm distracted right now. Let's reset, guys, okay? Let's reset. Okay, so. <sighs> Hawaii? <laughs> Why am I still in Hawaii? Okay. So let's just get that out of my brain right now. So Hawaii formed from the hotspot volcanism happening below it, which releases very flowy mag la lava, which is called non siliceous lava, basically basalts. Uh, basalts that form the island were being erupted continuously over the last few millions of years and as you may know there's a there's an emperor Sima chain beside Hawaii which actually includes Hawaii I'm sorry okay so yeah so that chain formed from this very same hot spot that Hawaii is standing on so Hawaii there's a hot spot over here and as the plates move like over millions of this is a very long period of time guys just wrap your head around millions of years okay so there's a pool of very hot magma below and then this is the plate then as it erupts a new volcano form and then an island form and then as the plates move it formed again another volcano erupt 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 then another it then just goes through that way so there's a mount there and then the peculiar shape of the Emperor Sea Mount chain can be explained by you know like there's a change in the plate movement of the Pacific plate uh, which that's the plate where Hawaii is on Emperor Sea Mount chain is on so it changed from this direction and then to that direction and so the L shape was formed so that's just geology for you guys Okay, let's just continue with our geology, okay? Since this is a volcano, let's just stick with the volcano, okay? So as you guys may know, the Pacific Ring of Fire is a very notorious place. It's a very well-known place uh, in the Earth, the Earth's surface where there are tons of volcanoes around the Pacific Plate. So, Pacific Rim of Fire, that's what they call it, my mistake. Anyways, so yeah, that is caused because that is caused by the subduction of the Pacific Plate around each edges. So uh, what that what that creates is a ton of volcanoes because subduction happens, and volcanoes form from the subduction because basically when your plate subduct, you get another plate here, the overriding plate, and then the subducting plate over here. So you just subduct right like that, and then as this goes down, it increases in pressure and temperature. So and also friction, which causes heat, and increase in temperature, which causes the rocks to melt. So when you melt the rocks, you form magma. When you form magma, you can form volcanoes at the top of it because the lava, the magma plumes, just rise up steadily towards the surface and is erupted by volcanoes. So volcanoes form from the uh, extruding lava. Anyways, the, so that's the Pacific Ring of Fire. And yeah, that's how the Pacific Ring of Fire works. And you also you also experience the largest earthquakes 
around the Pacific Rim of Fire, around those areas because of the subduction. So when you subduct, you can cause earthquakes from plate rebounding. So when you subduct like that, the this part of the plate is getting heavier, so it just goes like that. And then when certain uh, other tectonic events, other conferences happen, just the rebound back up like that. So that movement will cause massive, massive earthquakes. So that happens around um, those things happen around the Pacific Rim of Fire because of that subduction. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I that's just a review for me for the board exams this coming November. So wish me luck, guys. Anyways, um. I'm sorry if I just talk nonsense. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, leave a comment, leave a suggestion. And if you like more lessons like this, give me more games to play that are geologically based games. I like geology based games because it's refreshing and I can relate to it. So, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, as per usual. See you guys next time.